Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Hey there, welcome to Friday. We made it, TGIF. Yeah, we are live on Instagram. I obviously did my hair for you. (laughs) I'm looking so good. Um, Yeah, like live streams are interesting um, broadcasts because, you know, you know what I'm looking at this whole damn time? My face. I'm looking at my face this whole time. So it really um, is horrible. (laughs) So anyways, quite the interesting week here at Ho. Um, we can, we're going to recap, we're going to hang out, we're going to do an oracle reading. If individuals show up, I'll pull cards. If not, I'm totally okay with hanging out with me and my hair. (laughs) Hey, good morning. We are live. So what an interesting week. I will confess. I will confess. Good morning, Danny is noob. I will confess that I was really, good morning, Stephanie. I was really, um... I did wrong. I did wrong to myself this week by by constantly repeating an affirmation that did not serve me, right? Like I kept on saying this week is off. This week is wonky. And guess what? I had a really off and wonky week. <laughs> How are you? Welcome everybody. So <clears throat> we hung out this week with our herb, Dill, who really wanted us to feel enthusiasm. Quick yes or no. Did you feel enthusiasm for this week? Um, it came and went for me, um, but I feel like Dill was like constantly pushing me, pushing me, like, please, um, get excited about something. Please clear that negativity. Please clear that darkness, that depression. Do your work. Why? Because energies are moving fast, right? Um, here's another card we had this week with this tropical scene, rapid, what to say, rapid development. <clears throat> Sometimes when the energies start cruising along, cruising along, I mean, it's not a comfortable ride. We get a little turbulence. We get a little bumpity bumps. And then the Page of Swords was here this week saying, yeah, there's some negativity to clear. Yeah, there's some bullshit. Yeah, let's whack at it. (laughs) Let us whack at it. So I am laughing because I was just on Facebook and I posted some snow pictures. We have so much snow. You guys tramping around some snow today. It's just laying on things. Um, It's uh, everywhere. So I did the little emojis, snowflake, snowman, and then a ninja with a sword, which is basically the page of swords. And then uh, Kathy, my friend Kathy, came on and gave me an acronym for snow, S-N-O-W. Um, stuff no no shit no one wants that's what snow is shit no one wants (laughs) so the ninja was completely accurate to put beside the snowman although isn't that inner child of you if you have access to snow today don't you kind of maybe want to play in it Um, make a snowman make a snow woman make a snow dog whatever you're feeling called to do so anyways that was our week this week hanging out with dill it was good it was good i do feel enthusiasm um but yet at the same time if i'm being honest i was a complete and still kind of is (laughs) i was a complete um jb this week the jb she was back the judgmental bitch hello where have you been apparently just hanging out in the background. She just showed up. (laughs) So that's good to know. Um, So I decided to restart my Course in Miracles lessons um, just to help retrain my brain to not be so judgmental. 
that is the main thing that the Course of Miracles helped me personally to do. And it can help you in a lot of different aspects, but for me personally, it helped me greatly reduce my judgmental tendencies and help me on my path of forgiving people. So if you're looking to, to find a forgiveness practice, um, a, a, something like a program that can help you, check out A Course in Miracles. Um, I have a playlist that Tina Louise Spaulding did and um, she reads you the lessons and then she does a channeling and it is so effective. So anyways, um, shout out to A Course in Miracles. Love is the flower you've got to let grow. So we're going to do some quotes today. Love is the flower you've got to let grow. And then also I have the deck by Tess Whitehurst, Magic of Flowers. So let me know how everyone's doing. Um, we had a very good week, even though it was a little off for me personally. Like part of me is like, how is it Friday already? Um, we did Dill on Monday, we did Tarot on Tuesday. We manifested more aspiration on Wednesday. And then yesterday we hung out with the trees. So it was good, but my head's just like, how is it Friday already? And then now, now I have to, I have to put together a nerdy podcast for Herbal Marie, you know, Dill. So all I got so far is, you know, Dill, sup Dill weed. So I imagine it's going to be great because that's what I have so far. <laughs> We're on a roll. We are on a roll. Um, and so I'm cool with it because I don't mind things coming in at the last minute. Um, sure, I'm not freaking out at all. <laughs> all right, so on that note, I was thinking let's start off with kind of just an energy reading with the test cards and then we'll get everybody maybe a quote to end, end with. Um, unless you're here hanging out, let me know if you'd like some personal cards <clears throat> really guys <laughs> let's just take a minute and appreciate my hair <laughs> it's good <clears throat> it's good it'll it'll work so okay here we go magic of flowers by Tess Whitehurst um, I hope everybody's doing well I hope everyone enjoyed the podcast this week um, thanks for the messages um, and checking in and feedback. Uh, shout out to everybody who listened in this week. Um, Danny is noob says very quick week. Yeah, like what the what the deal, man? What the deal happened? Like it just flew by. We talk about rapid development. Uh, she says I definitely felt Dill calling me to be happy and push it, even though I ignored it and continued to mope. I know. I did too. <laughs> I mean, what what was that? Was that the day of the trees? Um, yeah, yeah, that was just yesterday. Um, the trees were like, you know, you it came in with this really beautiful masculine energy yesterday about focusing and getting things done, and and I just was like, I heard it right because I'm the one who said it, um, but I didn't listen to it. I went back to bed and I felt sorry for myself. <laughs> And then I, I fell asleep like really fast and I had all these incredible, like very detailed dreams letting me know, like it was showing me like how things were okay and things were going to be okay. And like in my dream space, I worked out a lot of the issues that were really weighing on my chest and um, I felt better when I woke up. It was like I had a clearing nap. I would definitely call that a clearing nap. Um, because yeah, like how you were moping this week, I was like kind of like feeling like like impending grief or something. Like I could just tell like some like I don't know, like I'm grief I'm I don't even know what I'm grieving for. But it was like this impending heaviness. Or just like, you know what? Looking around, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of reality. <laughs> it was that feeling too. <laughs> Like, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of reality this week. So it was the perfect week for me to restart A Course in Miracles because 
that's like one of the main things about A Course in Miracles. This reality is an illusion that we created. So um, here we go. Here's another comment by Stephanie. Week was super fast. Lots of drama. Oh my God. Um, my JB surfaced a lot. Just a gross week. Yeah. Like, and don't you feel like our JBs, our judgmental bitches, um, don't you feel like our JBs surfaced because in a lot of ways we needed them? Like they were just like, I cannot sit back and watch this bullshit unfold. <laughs> like, like she is being stepped on. She needs me. J JB was like, she needs me. I'm going. <laughs> And I, so I appreciate her. I really actually do. But I just know that if I let her hang out too long, she will make my life hell. She really will. Um, so Danny is so glad this week is over. And Stephanie is like, yeah, I did need her. I did too, because she stands up for me. Like the judgmental bitch um, stands up for me. Osiel the Oracle, welcome. We're just talking about our JBs. Um, a lot of us had our judgmental bitches step up and yeah, take control just for the minute. But it also prompted me to restart my lessons in A Course in Miracles <laughs> because I know what happens when I let her drive for too long. <clears throat> like she just starts going faster and crazier and like doesn't even like she's just like uh, uh, running over people. No, 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 no. So I can't let JB run the show. As fun as she is, you just have to keep her in check. So good morning. Yeah, because JB, listen up, when we judge, only we suffer. Yeah. So Osteo the Oracle is my best friend. You guys say hello, follow. And um, yeah, we keep each other in check. Um, like when it's getting a little too out of hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyways, thanks everybody for joining me today for the live stream. Thanks for listening in to the podcast that's presently being recorded. Um, it was a great week at hell. It really was. Even though it wasn't the best. I will say that. Wasn't the best. You're on lesson 197 today. I'm on lesson two. <laughs> We've switched roles. We've switched numbers. Now I'm following you. Um, so yeah, sending everyone so much love. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best week at, at Herb Oracle, um, although the messages were challenging. Why? Why wasn't it the best week? Because the messages weren't, weren't just, oh, you're doing great, just keep on, right? They, there was actually messages that were prompting, that were, um, yeah, pulling and pushing and inviting and, and like calling us out on our own what's the word I'm looking for? I guess bullshit. That's my word. Um, <laughs> but it was like, hey, you could be doing more. Hey, no more apathy. Hey, focus. So Dill was an amazing herbal ally um, to really get us enthusiastic, but logically, but realistically, because it was like, listen, you have to first clear out your depression, your negativity, um, anything that's a lower density. Why? Because yeah, it is time for you to fly. Absolutely. And Osteel's reminding us more love, always more love. Yes. And I got that message with my roomy deck at night. Um, I got that message in a lot of different ways. Um, any type of problem, you just declare and affirm the solution is going is is the solution will happen because I choose love. Everything will be fine because I choose love. All is well because I choose love. So more love, always more love. All right. Well, now that we have a few people in here, um, instead of doing like a collective reading, would anyone like a message from the magic of flowers? And then I think. Um, I want to pull everybody one one magic of flower. I want to pull you a magic of flower and then a flower whisper. Yeah, roomy for president. Bring them back. So you guys can get a Tess Whitehurst card. And then these cards 
were uh, created by a woman called Tina T. Ames. Tina T. Ames, and I got them on Etsy. There's this is a tiny little deck, and they've got all these really cool hand-drawn flower images or mandala flowers and a nice quote. So our first quote today is, love is the flower you've got to let grow. So speaking of love, Asiel, love is the flower you've got to let grow. Don't you dare pick it. Let it grow. All right, so cool. Danny is noob. We'll get her a card, two cards on her way to class. Um, or do you have class today or did it get canceled? Who has snow? Who has this shit no one wants? <laughs> okay, we'll do Danny, then Stephanie, then Aussie Al. Where the heck is Kathy? <laughs> Where the heck is Kathy? Hold on a second. Where is my cat? Where's my Kathy Kester hold? I know she's a, I know she's around because um I just see I just seen her on the Facebook. Okay? I seen Kathy on Facebook. <laughs> so if reality is not pleasing you, then please do not participate. And if reality is really really tough for you, then go southern. Okay? You can get through pretty much any situation by going southern in all moments. All right, here we go. All right, I invited Kathy. Um, Danny has class and she's in beautiful tropical sun. Okay, all right, so both of us have shared to Kathy now. <laughs> she's probably like at a doctor's appointment or in a meeting <laughs> and her phone's blowing up. All right, so let's get Danny um, a a uh, magic of flowers and then a flower whisper all right here we go that little flower whisper deck is hard to shuffle because it's so tiny so i might just pick it with intuition hey kathy we were just wondering where you're at <laughs> i was doing the roll call i'm gonna do um danny is noob a card and then stephanie and then I and then OCL and then I was like, uh, where's my Kathy? All right, so welcome to Friday, TGIF. Yeah, even though for a lot of us this week with the JBs coming up, it was TGIF. You, TGIF off. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, if we can get that F off to an F, yeah. Um, anytime we hang out together, I feel like we have successfully hung out so all right well if you are you still shoveling snow you got a you got a few minutes um if you'd like a card do you let me know if not i'll think of you and your i'm just letting it i think it's still snowing here i don't really shovel anyways i shovel the steps okay so danny has no idea what we're talking about because she's in tropical sun right now um, she's just like, you guys are dumb for a living there. <laughs> so while I was looking, hold on, this is for Danny. This is for Danny is noob. Let's get a message. Okay, there we go. I, uh, while I was looking outside the snow, I was like, I wonder how it is in Sedona. Pretty nice. Checked out their weather. Just, you know, just to see. <laughs> All right, so you got Tulip coming in reversed you got tulip coming in reversed all right so tulip is a devotee of beauty and she encourages you to always be looking for the beauty around you so even if you're stuck in a classroom it's like is there any fresh air in here like try to do your best to always be looking um, for the beautiful things going on, even if it's a little hairy, scary um, situation where you're at. So you're getting a message that to, I feel like this coming in reversed, um, Danny, is to say, up your appreciation. Start really, I mean, even if you're like, yeah, I appreciate everything. I mean, like really appreciate as much as you can. <clears throat> and we're going into this weekend <clears throat> and the one the card that you got on the bottom is cherry blossom so as you approach your weekend um you need to get more light-hearted okay 
Um, you need to use appreciation and gratitude as uh, a tool to release you from your weekly stress. It's like whatever happened this week, let it go. Um, even if like your workload, study load, caseload is kind of heavy, it's kind of heavy, like you really want this weekend to just be as childlike as you can, to just be as lighthearted, get into that innocent, these cherry blossoms with the three white doves, really start to be like, what does my inner child need? That's a good question. What does my inner child need me to do this weekend? And the message is very, very simple. Be free. Be free. And if you've kind of fallen um, away from your Grateful Goddess Appreciation Journal or just feeling gratitude or looking for things to appreciate, um, really commit yourself to being that devotee of beauty and um, yeah, just really start to love things up around you and let go. And look, she's like, just look at me. If you see a, Danny, if you see a swing set this weekend, I want your ass on it. <laughs> yeah, Osceola Orgo saying more play, more play. If you walk by a playground this week, I'm watching you, girl. Get on a swing. Get on the swing. <laughs> So Danny is noob says, this is so accurate, damn. I have definitely been pushing everything away instead of appreciating all my blessings. I know, we all do it. We all do it. And then we're like, wow, why is life so hard? Because, bitch, you did it yourself. So anyways, um, just know that like when we're not appreciating, we're pinching off the flow. And life is all about perspective. So if we can change our perspective to being, literally, listen to how beautiful this sounds. Devotee of beauty. Like, it is my purpose in life to find beautiful things. What do you do for work? I'm a devotee of beauty. <laughs> um, now is the time to do what is best for you. So your quote, Danny. I know it's reversed, sorry. Now is the time to do what is best for you. So this weekend, it's got to be all about you. It's got to be, it has to be. You have no other choice at this point because if you're so busy, I'm trying to get these cards situated pretty. If you're so busy that like you're just burning the candle at both ends, yeah. Now is the time to do what is best for you. All right, so much love to you. Next, we're moving on to Stephanie. Keep things rolling. They only give me an hour here uh, before they kick me off, which is fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> that's funny because the guy, the beautiful man that I've been hanging out with, um, his battery on his phone only usually lasts about an hour. So, like, it. Sometimes you need kicked off after an hour or you'll just keep on talking. <laughs> All right, so this is for Stephanie. Oh, you are so welcome, Danny. Danny says, thank you, beautiful. Thank you. It's my hair, isn't it? Yeah. I knew my hair was going to look like this today, and I was like, bring it. Bring it. <laughs> I'm so over this physicalness. Ugh. So over it. All right, so let's do Stephanie, and then we'll uh, I'll give my podcast a break, and we will do our the affirmations, and I'll clear my throat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. All right, so this is for Stephanie, who says that this week, her week was gross. Is that what you said? You said it was said so much drama. It was gross. That's a lot of drama, girl. That is a lot of drama if it took it up to the gross level. And <laughs> thank you, Asiel. <laughs> um, yes, F is, yeah, TGIF for my hair. Yeah, it's, you know what? I was going to shower for you. I thought about it because sometimes I do that. And I thought, nah, I think I'll just hold off on that. I miss being a dirty hippie. Like, I really cannot wait until it's hot and I am stinky and dirty. Like, I need it. I need it. It was. It would be good for my soul 
to just have hotness, summerness, mugginess. Yeah, I want to feel gross. <laughs> but yeah, when the drama is gross, it was gross for me too, Stephanie. This week was definitely hitting gross levels. Um, but you know what? We choose love and everything's going to be fine. And then we post funny memes on Facebook. So yeah, when you're when your lawyer is doing that hand, the handshake that you did, you're going to jail. That was so funny. <laughs> All right, you guys have to be on Facebook to know what we're talking about. Okay, here we go. This is for Stephanie. Oh, let's get Stephanie a message today. Get her a magic of flowers. Bring in the perfect message for Stephanie. We'll do top and bottom. For everyone top you got ooh camellia but it is reversed it is reversed so camellia has the message to activate um, our, J our JB's let's talk about this because when our JB's and for anyone new to the JB it's judgmental bitch when our JB aspects of ourselves surface, they are there to protect us. I truly believe that. But the thing is, she can get in the way from us receiving. So this is definitely a message for you to check yourself because we want this upright. We really, really do. We want her upright. We want her heart open. We want your heart open. We want your activations coming through. So all you have to do is basically just say like, Okay, I've had the week that I had, so be it. I'm not going to let any of this drama prevent me from receiving what is rightfully mine. And what is rightfully yours, all this energy coming through, all these activations, um, all these upgrades. So you just put your hand on your chest and you put your other hand out to receive and you let the week go, and you integrate this weekend, whatever needs to be done, you heal whatever was hurt, and then Monday, you just grab it all by the balls. You just grab it by the balls, and you just get on, like Danny's card said, doing what is best for you, getting back to basics, and what is so basic, just keeping your heart space open. Now on the bottom of that is pansy. So I guess like I really wasn't joking about you taking time this weekend to integrate, to contemplate what actually went down this week. Like, oh my God, how did I attract that? What was my lesson to learn with all this? What do I need to do now uh, for myself? So pansy is, look, she's not in a hurry. She knows she's got this whole weekend to chill out. And I'm pretty sure that is what her, her message is. Yeah, contemplate. Yeah, just try to figure out like what your role in it all was and um, what you can do now. Because I'm doing that too in some aspects of my life. Like I'm just like, I just like have to kick it back and be like, how did I, how did I attract this? Oh my god. Cause I believe I attract everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so and it's like, um, okay, so this is what what's I'm supposed to have going on in my life right now. All right. And and you know what? We just have to give ourselves that time for fallow and be like, it is what it is. Um, let's let's integrate it. And and that's not pushing it away. That's not, that's literally embracing it. Like this was part of my experience for whatever effing reason. And I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show all y'all. I'm gonna show all y'all. I'm just gonna learn from it and keep on chucking. All right, so yeah, that was good. Stephanie says, yes, I have chills. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, let's get you a little quote. Good morning. All right, let's get Stephanie a little quote. It's coming up off the bottom. Pain is never without gifts. So how about some chills on chills, girl? Pain is never without gifts. Pain 
is never without gifts. So it's like people can hurt you. You can hurt yourself. <laughs> um, and it, it's not just something that sucks. There's actually a gift in that. And it might just be more practice and forgiving. It might just be something that you needed to realize or experience, but pain is never without a gift. So sometimes it's like it, you're blind to it. You really can't figure out what it might be, but you just keep looking. So that's why you got the contemplate card because this might be a challenge to figure out. And I'm also thinking of myself here too. It might be a challenge to figure out like how, why, but if we keep looking, we keep opening ourselves, putting our hand out to receive from spirit, like, all right, give it to me. I want to understand this. Please activate me. Please upgrade me. Please expand me so that I can have broader awareness so I can understand what the fuck this was all about. Amen. All right. Let me push pause over here. Let's take a break. Let's do our affirmations. Let's feel some enthusiasm. This affirmation minute is brought to you by the herb of the week, dill. Woo! And I dedicate these all to you. Thank you so much for your support. Let us get it rolling. I feel enthusiasm for life. I sweep away all darkness and depression. I open myself to new thoughts and ideas. I communicate carefully and truthfully. I focus on free thinking. I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. Big, big breath. Let it go, let it go, let it go because I feel enthusiasm for life. I sweep away all darkness and depression. I open myself to new thoughts and new ideas. I communicate carefully and truthfully. I focus on free thinking. And I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. And with these words said, so it is. we're back here for the second segment at the Instagram live so the one affirmation this week that was so freaking huge was I open myself to new thoughts and ideas think about how big that is we got problems we need solutions we need to open ourselves to thoughts and ideas that our tiny little mind hasn't thought of yet so that one was really really big for me um, I communicate carefully and truthfully I tried uh, but F, but the F and JB, you know, I focus on free thinking. Yeah, I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. So we had great affirmations this week, um, challenging affirmations this week. So Stephanie says um, that was so accurate, the cards. Um, she says, girl, thank you. I appreciate what you do. So much love to you. And I appreciate you too. Um, I appreciate everyone for showing up. And Osiel the Oracle says, I have actually been vibing high and full of love all week. I share that with all. Well, isn't that good? Because like sometimes, usually, I'm the one who's vibing high, right? And I'm in, in the, you know, I'm helping, helping you. Would you agree? <laughs> so it's like, thank you. I, this week, I went nose diving. I was like, and um, so, yeah, your turn. <laughs> Like, finally, lift me up off the floor. <laughs> All right, so on that note, let's get Osiel a card. And then um, Kathy, if she's still hanging, and if anyone else is in the background, uh, please say so. Try to work everybody in. These cards are great. <clears throat> These cards are great. Okay, so... Lilac does say hello. I saw it for just a split second. Lilac says hello to you, Asiel. It's all about your intuition. It's all about keeping on your inner guidance, understanding 
you know, you too, why things are happening in your life. And, um, you know, on a personal note with you, Ossiel, you had that, that revelation this week, like, of course, I'm supposed to be a teacher, right? So it's like, once we keep following our intuition and letting ourselves be guided and letting everything not work out and letting things crash and burn and fall to the ground, then we go, oh yeah, I see how this actually is working out. When I was in the middle of it, it didn't seem like it was working out, but now it seems good. <laughs> um, Asiel says, you and Jesus. Oh, you are my savior. You and Jesus. <laughs> I'm so flattered. Thank you. I hope Jesus is not jealous because you named me first. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sadie Christ. <laughs> I got a long way to go before I can accept that title. That is for sure. Yes, Osiel says, everything is always working out for me. So this is for Osiel the Oracle. Osiel the Oracle. Seriously, could not imagine my life without him. All right, so we're going bottom then top. Okay, so you got Lily. Uh, Lily's your first card, which is ask for help. Ask and ask often. You don't ask enough. They're saying you could literally ask every turn, every bus stop, every, every little twist and turn in your day. You could be asking more receiving more, allowing yourself to just lean on spirit. Just lean on spirit. Open up and lean on spirit. Ask for help. Is And you know what? Because like we, we, I think you and I do this. We're always like, we're always communing with spirit, with non-physical. Um, we always feel like we're connected. But do you actually ask? Because I'm guilty. I'm guilty of not asking for help. Like, I, I know enough, I can figure this out. But like, spirit's like saying like, knock it the hell off. It's not even your job. It's not even your job to figure it out. All you have to do is give us permission and we got this for you. <laughs> so Lily is asked for help. Now I love this flower. It's, um, it's a day lily. It tastes like a pepper. If you can get just a regular day lily, not anything hybrid or, or um, just the plain old outhouse day lily. You can eat these, they taste like a pepper. Um, so, and the thing is, another message coming through for you, Asiel, is they only, they're a day lily. They only bloom for a day. So it's like one, appreciate everything because you know, it ain't gonna last. And two, if it's stressful and crazy, just roll with it because it ain't gonna last. Everything passes, all is well, um, yeah. Yeah, and Osiel's saying, right, I never ask for self. He's always asking for other people, helping other people, guiding other people. And they're saying, and let us help you just ask and ask often. Now, the one that I pulled second was on the top, and it's a reversed orchid. This is a reversed orchid. So <clears throat> when it comes in reversed, it's saying that you are not allowing yourself to be yourself. So maybe like you're thinking you have to be a certain way to please others, or you're holding back of like some some aspects of you, but we want her revert, we want her right side up. We want her to just shine her light even in, even in places where it's inappropriate to shine. That's funny. Even in situations where like, it is slightly inappropriate for you to be yourself. Spirit is saying, why don't you just do it anyways? <laughs> you know, just just be who you are. And I know that's tough, like when you're like trying to impress like whoever's doing the hiring or whatever, but you'll be so much better off if you just be you. So the orchid is, a, is an amazing, beautiful flower. Sometimes it takes a long time to blossom and bloom. Um, Andrew, my friend Andrew, um, he waited like a whole year for one of his orchids, or years, maybe years, uh, for one of his orchids to bloom. And, but once they do, they're just like nothing else. They're so unique. So yeah, there she is with her, her beautiful reddish bronzed hair. 
Everyone around her has umbrellas. It's raining. They don't want to be rained upon. She is loving the sprinkles. So I think, yeah, when life rains down on you, the best thing you can do is take your shirt off and be like, I fucking love it. <laughs> you ain't gonna rain on my parade. I love it. I love being rained on. I love the sprinkles. And on that note, I should just tell you that yesterday when I did the rabbit cages for an hour outside, it was raining the whole time. And I even took my hat off. That's why my hair is so crazy today. And I was like, you know what? I like being rained on. And it put me in a better mood. It helped soothe my JB getting sprinkled on. It was like little tickles from Mother Nature. Did um, No, they did not eat yet. So I say all the Oracle says, thank you. I took so long to bloom. And yeah, um, maybe that's, you know, something too you can ask for help with to like keep me in perpetual bloom. Um, can, hey, <laughs> Elaine, quiet down on set. You can, they can wait. They can wait 15 minutes. I'm hungry okay. So anyways, also the day lily. It only lasts for a day, but there's other buds on that stem, on that stalk. So always know that more blooms are coming. All right, so here's your card, Asiel, your quote. Don't invite people into your garden who would stomp on your flowers. Don't invite people into your garden who will make lots of noise in your live stream Excuse me? <laughs> you gave life to this garden don't invite people into your garden who would stomp on your flowers so yeah maintain your boundaries um best you can you know especially like if you if you see that um that garden is annoying you know hey that? i'm recording i'm recording i'm a professional um, yeah, especially if you can see the red flags, like, you know they're not going to respect those flowers. They don't care about your flowers. They don't even know what the F a flower is. They don't get an invitation into your garden. Yeah, good advice, Kathy says. Good advice. Yeah, because we should know better at this point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kathy, we're coming up to Kathy. I think Kathy is our final message, which is good because... Um, at some point, we will cruise out of time. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad everybody's doing well, even though it wasn't the smoothest ride this week. Yeah, even though it wasn't the smoothest ride, you're still all doing well. You still all showed up. And Osiel, now that I know that you're awake, I have all these fun photos to send you of Zen this morning. So, okay, here we go. This is for Kathy. Um, was there anybody else? I thought I saw. Um, I thought I saw someone that was here last week that couldn't stay. Is there anyone else other than Kathy? Kathy, are we on our last card here? This is for Kathy. All right, Kathy, you get your messages to the sound of the dogs chewing dog food. All right, Kathy, you got Frasia, but it is reversed. So you got this butterfly rivers. Yes, welcome. All right, so this card is about necessary change. It's reversed though, Kathy. So that means what are you doing to not change, right? Are you holding yourself back from inevitable changes? Do you wanna stay in your cocoon extra long but the Frasia butterfly is coming out saying it's time it's it was reversed and it's like all right stay cozy for a minute welcome truth with the capital T it's saying fine but changes are a coming girl changes are a coming and at some point even if you don't want to get out of your cocoon bed you're gonna have to you're gonna have to because guess what you're a butterfly <laughs> All right, I love it too. Yeah, change is hard. Oh, I know. I think that's been part of my problem holding that that impending grief, right? I know changes are coming. They're at my doorstep like knock 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 knock, let us in. Um but, you know, we can resist 
or we can be graceful about it. And that's you. That's where you you get to choose. Oh, uh, everything's going to change whether you like it or not. But you do get to control how you respond to it, how you go about it. If you resist and fight and kick and scream, or do you just get used to your wings and gracefully fly with it? Yeah, Osteo the Oracle says, see all changes as blessings. Yeah, absolutely. Now the card on the bottom, ooh, is Dahlia. All right, so yeah, this is not, and then there's me, this is not an easy message um, when it comes in with Dahlia because the reason this was reversed is because you still have shadow, shadow work to do. You still have shadow clearing work to do. And yeah, within change too. Um, part of my shadow clearing series on YouTube, there is one that we did with change. And maybe it might be good to look back on it. Um, maybe for me too, because I re I'm relating to your message. Yeah, this is a gorgeous deck by Tess Whitehurst. Um, yeah, maybe we should both watch the shadow clearing work change uh, that I did on my YouTube. So yeah, Dahlia is saying, <laughs> Kathy is saying, don't I know it? Yeah, don't I know it? Um, and so once you start to just acknowledge like, okay, I have trouble with change. I don't do well with it, but I, I want to improve because I want to, I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> um, just even stating that. Yeah, I want to listen to them all again, too, but I don't have that many lifetimes. <laughs> um, it's just too much. It's just, hey, be, be nice. It's just too much, you know, but maybe just start with that one about change. So anyways, good luck, Kathy. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. This is nothing that is not within your reach. Um, but yeah, it's just a heads up from spirit change will be easier for you once you do your shadow clearing work once you uncover in your subconscious um why do you have so much trouble with change what is it what's really going on here you know and then like let's just spin off the ocl's card too ask for help okay this is perfect for you when the root when the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. So, Danny, have a great day. Danny says, getting to class now. I loved hanging out with all of you. Thanks, Sadie. Bless up. Hey, enjoy the sunshine for us, Danny. <laughs> Much love to you, sister. All right, so, Kathy, here, here is your perfect flower whisper coming through with that shadow work you got to do with change. When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. Come at me, bro. Blow all you want. My roots run so deep. You can shake me, but you're not going to make me fall over. Right? Trees, yeah, perfect. Trees know how to deal with change. Changing of the seasons, changing of weather. They got this. Changing of the energies. Where's the basket? I'll get it for you in a minute, okay? When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. All right, truth of the capital T. Did you hang out? Um, I know, so on. They're so fun. Spirit is definitely playing with us today. So we all got so many great messages. Um, I'll be putting a picture of them on the Herb Oracle Instagram. I love how I laid them out too. Um, so I'm literally making like a stem and a flower stalk with our cards coming off the side. I'm going to have to rearrange it so I can get them all in one shot. But yeah, they're good. Truth of the capital T, did you hang out or did my hair scare you away? You can be honest. So um, yeah, this hair, God bless it. I feel like the crone aspect is coming in strong. Everybody just put in a a native braid real quick if your hair is driving you crazy. Truth of the capital T says, yes, I'm always driving when you go live, but I made it. All right, then don't don't respond anymore. I, I don't want that on my conscience. 
don't respond anymore and um, I'll just, I'll speak for you. <laughs> I'll pull your cards and I'll say, she loved it. <laughs> there we go, you guys. Done and done. <laughs> All right, thank you. Asiel says, awesome hair. So I'm sorry that my podcast can't see my hair, but you will be able to watch this replay on my YouTube channel, Sadie Marie Cherico. I'll upload it um, all afternoon because it takes all afternoon for an hour video to upload. Okay, Truth of the Capital T has, is parked and this card is for her. All right, there we go. Uh, your card flipped out. It's Magnolia. Now, it's Magnolia. It, it reversed and flippy it's still it's still flipping I can hardly hold on to this card now she is standing in a magnolia circle with candles and the message with this card is to stand in your power now it's reversed so the message is you need to step into your power you need to stand in your power so if there is anything this week that's happened that has made you feel less than empowered and we don't need to blame or feel like a victim, just be aware of it. Be like, okay, that made me feel a little bit less empowered than I know I should be. All you have to do is now claim your power. Step into it because we want this upright. Yeah, we want this upright with her hands out and open. Her eyes are closed because because, 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 because inner power is inner. That's why it's inner, inner power. You can't look outside of yourself for power. You can't control reality, you can't control people, you can't control situations. Um, things that happen outside of you make you vulnerable. Like if you're always looking outside of yourself for your power, that makes you vulnerable. So she's saying you gotta close your eyes when you're not driving and go within and feel that power. Step into it. And this really is such a powerful card. Like I love that her sachet is under her, like, like in her womb area. See how it's like down in that lower root chakra, sacral chakra. She knows where her power is. And she's accessing it right now. And she's standing under the full moon with the magnolia blossoms in the air. Just incredible. She doesn't need anybody in this moment. So Truth with a capital T says, yes, I'm ready. And she says, girl, the trees yesterday, initiative especially, got me lit on fire. That's what they wanted to do. That's what they wanted to do to us. Get us moving. Get it going. You should be running like you're on fire towards your wildest dreams. So just check yourself if there's anything that's that you feel like is holding you back from doing that. Do your clearing work. And such a sweet message on the bottom of the deck is honeysuckle, which is just saying, yeah, go for it and good luck. Honeysuckle has a message of good luck. So. Um, hummingbirds are definitely a, a, an animal that like I connect with. I love the hummingbirds. They make me happy. Um, but yeah, it's like saying, go with it. Go with your fire. You were so excited you could not sleep. Okay, you are on the right path. Oh, and you said the longest gestation period ever. That's because I've got a giant spirit baby ready to come out. Oh my gosh, yeah, because that's what I was thinking. She's she's a, okay with her belly. She's okay with her feminine curves and her softness. And yeah, she's pregnant with ideas. That's how you got the message. Perfect, perfect. You got the message um, that you were looking for. And Truth of the Capital T says, my only tattoo is a hummingbird. Okay, so hummingbird is also your spirit, one of your spirit guides as well. More, even more than me because I don't have a hummingbird tattoo. Um, yeah, it's just saying go for it. You're drawn to the sweetness of the nectar. You know what you like. You know it. You couldn't sleep last night. You were that excited. Come on, girl. You were on the right path. And it's just saying 
good luck. We are with you every step of the way and you're gonna have fun with this. All right, let me get you a flower whisper and, uh, and then we'll end it there. Oh my goodness, yeah, so awesome for sure. Um, I know, like I'm kind of at a loss for words a little bit. It's just sweet. It's sweet when somebody starts to feel alive and feels passion and like gets excited and uh, wants to do things, and wants to create. <laughs> all right good humorous but good avoid gurus follow plants that's your quote avoid gurus follow plants and it's true and it's true and Osiel taught me this too from going to so many of his live streams um you know if you ever go to Osiel's live stream he'll remind you you're the oracle um, you can get your own damn messages. Um, connect with yourself. Don't rely on me too much. Osteo the Oracle actually took time off from broadcasting. I witnessed this because people were becoming overly dependent on him for messages. And right, Osteo, you were like, you need to get your own messages at some point. Like, so always um, look to your own guidance within, step into your own power. Um, follow your spirit guides you um, trust your intuition and yeah if you have the choice between a guru and a plant always go with the plant <laughs> always go with the plant absolutely you can you can consistently rely on them so yeah thank you so much for hanging out um, Truth with a capital T says, that is so great. Thank you so much. My messages have all been about breaking the mold and making my own. Osseo the Oracle says, power is within. Um, and yeah, you know, as you teach others what you know, make sure that they are finding their own feet and they're doing, they're finding their own way and their own intuition. Yeah, it's never my intention for somebody to rely on me. It's my intention for me to light the fire and get people to listen to them uh, them own selves yeah listen to themselves because your higher self is with you all the time just shining that light on your path and uh, helping you and encouraging you and guiding you and I'm just excited that we get to hang out yeah, the plants always have the answers. I love you guys so much. So thank you so much for helping helping me. Yes, that was a true. That was so true. Like it seemed like I was saying the wrong thing. But no, that's true. Thank you guys so much for helping me. Because when I pull messages for you, do you know who gets the most out of it? Me. You think I'm just being nice to you? <laughs> No, I am, I am the one reaping the benefit from all of this. So thank you for helping me. Thank you for letting me pull cards for you and being the conduit that the messages came through today. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so on that note, um, oh, and Stephanie's still here. Thank you, beautiful Sadie. It was great hanging out with y'all. And... Osiel the Oracle is saying absolutely. Truth of the capital T is saying thank you. Osiel is throwing me roses, which I'm picking up and throwing back at him. <laughs> so, so much love to you. And guess what? That was timed absolutely perfect because I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it up at the top. It says one minute and 30 seconds remaining. So if I wasn't going to wrap it up, we were going to get booted and kicked out anyways. <laughs> they're kicking us out you guys they're kicking us out so on that note thanks so much for hanging out pulling cards um these were so fun don't invite people into your garden who would stomp on your flowers if you're having a rough time just remember that pain is never without gifts now is the time to do what is best for you Love is the flower you've got to let grow. When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. 
and avoid gurus. Follow plants. Mm. So, so much love to everyone. Take care. <laughs> and that was fun. Oh my goodness. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, just real quick. I really, really, really do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because getting me up out of bed each day to run at the mouth is a great gift that you give me just by tuning in and listening, right? If nobody listened, of course, there is a chance I'd still do it, but people are listening more and more. The podcast is growing, and that means my appreciation is, is growing as well. But yeah, when I said thank you for letting me pull cards for you, I really mean it because I really love doing it and I benefit so much. Um, so it's like, it's like I'm the Oracle reader that's like got the reversal um, payment system. It's like, no, honey, let me pay you because I just got so much from that. All of those messages, every single one of them, there was something in each one that I was ready to hear and I needed to hear. So thank you, Ho. Thank you, JB. And thank you, you, for hanging out and spending another week with me here. It was awesome. And I am enthusiastic. Oh yeah, what's up, Dill? What's up, Dill Weed? Dill Weed be so proud of me. I am enthusiastic to see you again next week. Mm, so much love to you. Thank you.